they didn't really get it. They didn't get it. I, I got up there and I talked about value. I talked about selling a transformation. And, and they, they were just like, Here's what's happening. I'm here in Toronto. I'll show you our little con Airbnb condo we rented. It's pretty dope. We've been shooting some videos here today. Um, I did a talk yesterday. I, I was asked to speak on um, raising prices every year um, by Rick Lau, who uh, is one of the founders of Call Hero. Call Hero is a um, software we've actually been using for the last year and it allows me to track incoming calls, um, how we uh, convert them into patients, I can listen to the phones, we can do call trainings, it's, it's been really great. And they, got, they invited me up here to speak at Accelerate Live, which is awesome. I wanna make sure that you understand what you need to do, because they didn't really get it. They didn't get it. I, I got up there and I talked about value. I talked about selling a transformation. And they were just like, there were people here that got it, but the majority of the crowd was just like, I was like, man, this is a, I was like, dude, this is a tough crowd. I finished, and then today, so I, I, I got it, I got out my message about, it doesn't matter how much you charge, it doesn't matter what you do during the session, it doesn't matter if you do pediatrics or neuro or ortho, what matters is that you listen to your patients and you ask them what they want you find out what they want, and if it's something that you can help them with, you tell them how you can help. And then you charge them a fair amount. And to me, a fair amount is an amount that allows me to hire other people, to generate a profit, to create an experience for them that they can't get anywhere else. They did this contest today, and it was, the contest was like a one minute pitch to how to generate $10,000 in three months. That was it. So after my talk yesterday, I got a lot of good feedback from people individually, and maybe there's a, you know, like there are people that get it, and um, they're like, oh, that was great. And so I did this one minute pitch, and I was like, okay, who here in the room has more than 50 visits a week, and 65 or more percent of the hands went up. So there's 250 people there, well over half the hands, more than half the hands went up. So these are clinic owners. I met a lot of them, I have three clinics, 15 clinics, 20 clinics, Etc. And I was like, okay, you got 50 more, 50 patients a week at $25 a visit because a lot of them are charging $75 um, dollars a visit, maybe 100. Can we go up $25 a visit, and in 12 weeks, that's $15,000 extra. Okay, so I did that, and I said, okay, who here is going to raise their rates on Monday? Six hands went up. I was like, oh wow, that's too expensive. That only took me 30 seconds of the full 60 I had. So then I said, okay, who here feels comfortable raising the rates $11? The same six hands went up. I was like, all right, if you raise your rate, if you're seeing 25 patients a week and you raise your rates $5 a visit, you will generate $6,000 extra dollars in the next 12 months. So who here feels, and I said, who here feels comfortable raising the rates $6 on Monday? The same six hands went up. And you know they don't have it as bad. The, ins the insurance here, the government insurance is, they don't fight them. It's just patients get like 750 or $1,000 worth of physical therapy. So the way Jake and I see it, we were talking about this today, it's like, that's the government saying, hey, I'm gonna pay the first $1,000 of your PT. So for instance, I might say, Ms. Jones, to get you on our back to the, you know, MAT program or back to the box program, it's gonna be just 1998. And, the government's gonna pay $1,000, so your responsibility is just nine ninety eight, and we're gonna do all this stuff for you. And it would be an even easier sale because that's half price of what we typically sell. And they, they don't get it. Their mindset is the government's gonna pay X, so we can only see as many people, or people we can only, if they need eight visits, and I've only got $1,000 to do it, so I can only charge $125 a visit but I don't really want them to run out of their benefits if they might need it another time this year. You see that mindset? I don't want you guys to have that mindset. And you don't really, because that was really the mindset in the US 20 years ago, and you're changing, but in order to understand what we have to do, we have to, I, I've now learned like what they're thinking, how they're thinking, why 
that proposal to them to raise their rates $25 was just so out of this world. And I, told, I taught them yesterday. I did a, a 30 minute talk. Very, it, was, it was like the brief overview of my course, Ethical Influence. It's, here's the questions. Here's why. Here's the transformation you make. Here's what you need to talk about. Here's how you train your staff, etc. And today I figured, you know, I'd, I'd show them the math. Give the analytical people something to chew on. And it was too much. It was too much to raise rates $20. But I've done it over time, little by little. And I've done it, um, I've done it $100 over a year ago. We did a, we did a $100 um, increase because we switched the way we sell. And that's what I taught yesterday. And even with that, and so it's the belief and it's the system. And so you might be thinking, I don't get it either. Like they should do that. Maybe not. But what are the beliefs that you have that our system has put on you? And those are things like, I don't deserve to earn $100,000 or more. I'm going to struggle to pay down my loans. Um, patients don't want to pay more than $100 for physical therapy. Like there's a lot of PTs in the US. They're only charging $75 a visit or $15 for every muscle where I stick a needle. The lesson is, is that when you have it too easy, it's hard to change. And it might be too easy for you if you're considering starting a cash practice, but you're making $90,000 doing home health. You know, things might be too easy. They might be a little too good, but not good enough. And it's hard to change when it's, when there's not enough pain. Okay, up here, right now in physio, there's not enough pain. However, what they would rather do is the guy that won the contest talked about selling products. And there's one guy in the audience that sells uh, that 30% of his revenue was products. So everyone in there was like, oh. and they gave, you know, this guy got like all the high marks in selling products. So in order to sell, to make $10,000 by selling products, remember you gotta have a, a $10,000 in profit. So you have to have a margin. So it's probably 20 something, thousand, maybe over $20,000 worth of sales. Most products that we sell in our clinic, I can't get a, I can't get a margin of 50%. I can't get them, I can't get the products. They're, my cost is 60% of the retail. So a lot of things I sell, there's four, five dollar margins. I think the Rumble Roller might be a $20 margin. But I gotta buy six of them at $65 to get free shipping, to get the lowest price per, so I can sell them for $85. An $85 roller, that's a hard sell. And so they sit around for a while. And you know, so what do these owners want to do? They would rather go buy probably $12,000 worth of product to sit on their shelves to sell over three months, which they're still gonna have to learn to sell. They're gonna have to sell these products, but it's much easier for them to sell a widget than themselves or their service, and which is gonna be more transformational. See, what's happening is they think they're taking the easy way by selling product, but um, what they're really doing is making it harder for themselves in the long run. What's easy? It's not easy for me to learn sales, but it's easy for me to make a decision that I want to be successful, and how am I gonna do that? I'm going to figure it out. And as we've raised our rates, we have less people canceling, less people no-showing, we have more patients, we have 27 patients scheduled next week. We did um, four evals this week, we did two paid in full at 19.98 a piece, we did one paid in full at five visits, so that was about, I think that's 1200 something dollars, and we did one new, brand new pay as you go. So I just generated an extra $5,000 this week because we did promo two weeks ago. Okay, so what would I rather do, go find five new patients or four new patients, or put $10,000 worth of product on the shelves and hope to sell it over the course of the next three months? What would you rather do? That's what I want to know.